All right, guys. So uh, today we are going to be doing the recoil rope on a Craftsman 40L trimmer. Um, I'll put all the parts in the description below. Uh, I think this is like four or four and a half rope that I'm using. Um, so I'll put all, all that in the description below. Um, rope, recoil, uh, recoil handle, any anything you might need for this job. All right, I'm gonna set up the camera. All right, so uh, it's a little windy in here. That's because I got the fans on. It's like 100 degrees outside all the time here in South Florida. Um, it's like a Torque 25 screw. I got a couple of them in this. One here, one here, maybe and one down here. We're gonna take those three out real quick. Uh, it looks like you can do a flathead screw on these two, screwdriver on these two. It's got a flathead slot. So. out for us so I don't lose them. Alright, got all them out. No big deal. Now, uh, it looks like I'm going to have to use well, it might be a Torque 27 or an Allen. That's an Allen. It's like a 4mm Allen. I'm going to take that out because we got to be able to get the rope through it somewhere. It must be underneath it. So if you have rope left, make sure you cut that rope and release this slowly so that there's no tension on it when you go to take this out. If there's any tension on it, the spring will pop right out. We're going to slowly get that out. If the spring props out, you just got to go to the outside first, get it in, just work your way around, just keep getting it in from the outside to the inside. All right. Um, when you got it in, this spring right here, you want this to be up against that right there. So what we're gonna have to do is bend it a little bit in so that it lands right, right on that, like so. You can see it. So it lays right on that, like that. All right. Now the rope, the rope goes through the pulley and comes out right here. So we're going to take the rope. Um, we're going to heat the end with a lighter so we can melt the strings to a point. That way they don't fray up as you're trying to put it in. Oop, did I drop the oh, okay, washer's down there. There's a washer that goes on top of this. Be careful you don't lose it. Alright. We're going to go through. Oh, you know what? Let's go do the recoil itself first, then through the pulley. Gotta get this more to a point. It doesn't want to go through, it's got uh, a knot on it. See, there's like a little slot right here that goes through like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a simple knot. And then we're gonna put this through that slot, pull it down in, throw that simple knot to that slot right there, like that. All right, now this is going to get set into place. This hooks on to that part of the spring, right? So we're gonna get this in, turn it till it drops into place. 
and it'll actually see it drops into place and it'll actually hook on the spring and have tension all right now we're gonna get the washer in there it's gonna drop all the way down nice and level in there there's a little washer and a big washer the little washer's got to go towards that it gives it a little space so we'll put the screw through it like this a little washer over here then we'll get it in over there and this is like a four millimeter or three millimeter maybe even I don't know if it says it on it doesn't say it on it small as the one metric get that in there nice and tight like so now you got a loop right here you see this slot it actually goes to that slot but it gives you plenty of room so you just go counterclockwise with the, with the part of the rope that's hooked to the pulley do like three turns pull it tight and it'll pull right down in there now we're going to pull it back out into a loop again. I'm going to grab the side that's on the pulley. Let's do like two more turns. That should be more, more than enough rope. It's like five turns total. Um, we're going to grab the rope, cut it. We got a like this end so it doesn't fray up. Just like that. We're going to put the handle back in it. This customer brought it with no handle so this handle doesn't go to it. It will work. I need to cut it a little point. Sometimes that end of the rope gets uh, knotted up, so cut it at an angle. It helps prevent that. Then we're going to tie a simple knot, basically. Let's go across it. It's going to be a simple knot. Then I'm going to go one more loop around so it goes through twice pull it tight cut off any extra spray it up a little bit heat it with a lighter use the lighter to press it down it just makes a wide flat spot Keeps it from getting pulled out. All right, pulling in the handle, nice and tight. Boom, seems perfect. Perfect. Um, you can always put a few drops of oil down in the crack of it, just to get the spring nice and oiled up. Uh, these little flipper thingies, those are called Pauls, P-A-W-L. These are going to be, if you need these ones, I'll put them, I'll see if I can find them in the description. This is going to be the same as like an Echo backpack blower hauls. Get this lined up. Pull on it a little bit to get it to drop into place. There it goes, drop right in. Make sure you get the uh, plastics lined up properly on it. Three bolts. I ever come by the, uh, so put these three screws back in. He's a third.
plastic rubber piece here. We gotta take this back out. Find out what that fell off of. Evenly tighten everything up. We don't want to bind this in any way. You know, pull it over a few times every time and tighten it up like that was bound up a little bit. Now well, it seems to be in there good. Alright, there we go, guys. I'm going to give it a final snug. guys freshly done recoil all right this helped you out in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i'll put the pull rope and handle in the description below click on the link uh, if you want to do any advertising on my channel message me I'm more than happy to have you peace